Fellow card collectors and investors, we are talking about something that a lot of people may consider controversial, and I have it here in my hands, right here. Kurtz Card Care. There are other cleaning kits out there on the market besides Kurtz, but I just want to talk to you guys about this and get your guys' opinion and tell you my thoughts. I just thought this was kind of interesting, card-related, and I do think it's kind of something important to talk about. Now, I do want to start off by saying that I'm not uh, sponsored by anybody. I bought this kit myself uh, out of curiosity, and I'll tell you where that stemmed from. And it's not that hard to figure out, right? It stemmed from me opening packs and or buying cards, raw cards, uh, mainly eBay and some others where the card looks real good except for there's like maybe a, f a few minor scratches, right? And I was wanting to grade cards either to sell or to keep for my personal collection. And I stumbled across Kurtz, figured I'd try it out, and I have used it. And I have graded with it, and um, I I understand why people get so up in arms about it. But I also understand. Imagine, it's hard. So in the Pokemon world and the sports world, but it, it, I feel like it can be harder in sports. But we'll we'll use Pokemon as an example because I I feel like they don't these new Pokemon cards don't have scratches as often. It's mainly like vintage stuff. I was able to clean some scratches off of some vintage hollows that had, um, you know, like Watsi era, like, um, you know, just some, some cards that I had, um, actually, I think some of them are over here and they had some light scratches on them and I wanted to get them slabbed regardless. You know, they're not going to get tens, but I was able to significantly reduce the amount of scratching on the hollow, and I was really happy about that. But rewind to what I was saying earlier, if you are ripping packs, and say you finally hit that card that you've been chasing, or a rare card, sports or Pokemon, doesn't matter, and you finally hit one, and say you finally hit one, you get lucky enough, and you, and you hit one, and it's actually centered because that's a whole nother issue in and of itself. But say that there's just a little scratch on it. Now, I haven't really seen this with Pokemon like um, the SIRs or the textured cards. They don't really get scratched on the front, but the backs they can. And it happens in sports a lot with the Prism cards. A lot of the times like you'll even see like down an athlete's face or just like a little scratch across because they're so easily scratched. And there's nothing worse than you finally pull that card, you get that card, you buy it, whatever, and there's just like this scratch, right? I'm not talking about print lines. Um, this does not remove print lines. This removes scratches. Now, there's a whole nother aspect to this kit that we will get in that is a little bit more debatable. And you'll see, so just to preface, I... I don't really have any problem with anybody removing any scratches, and I definitely don't have any problem with anyone removing dirt or grime from a card. Um, let me know in the comments below where you guys stand on all this, but like, if you have an older card, Watsi, or a newer card, and there's something on it, like a speck, and you, you know, you use the spray, and you just like wipe it off. And you just clean that off. I don't. I don't see that there's anything wrong with that in any way, shape, or form. Um, like, come on, guys. There was some dirt on it. Like, what are you? What are you guys complaining about? But, and the scratches. I understand it being a little bit more borderline. Now, for me, I'm not polishing entire cards. So I just, if I can, if I have a light scratch that can change a card from a nine to a ten, I'm going to take the scratch out if I can. Right. And I've had success, mostly in sports, bumping a few cards up to 10s that, um, in my opinion, would have been a 9. I've graded enough now that I think I have a decent eye for it. But the uh, maybe the more controversial part, if you watch any of Kurt's videos, is he's getting dimples and creases out and uh, doing a lot more for edges and stuff where I 
don't think I personally have a problem with that, but I can understand why some people would, and I can understand why that would be more altering. But to bring it back to the scratches again, if you get a scratch in your car or um, something like that, and you're able to buff out the scratch, and nobody can tell what like what is the problem you you know if nobody you can literally take the scratch away right and it's the same thing that we're doing here they're so light the deeper scratches are not going to get taken out right from my experience it's the only the lighter scratches and it's not print lines and it's I, that's kind of the way i look at it if i was going to sell a car or like i have a jeep right and sometimes uh i go off-roading and it gets pinstriped like the branches of like bushes or whatever will like scrape the paint i buff them out because i can <laughs> right and i i want it to look you know the best i can so i kind of think of it that way think of it like a car i've also used this this kit to buff out scratches in slabs uh, psa like you know i had a few anyways it doesn't matter buffed them out got some scratches out of the slabs just because I didn't want to have them re-slabbed or if I was going to sell them and I didn't want to sell uh, the buyer to complain or just for my personal collection for stuff up here. I don't want scratches in it. I could take them out. I'm going to take them out, right? So I think that that's fair. But um, we're going to just move over here like this. So what you get in this kit that is the more controversial part is this guy right here. So this... If you've seen this in action, this is like an edge tool. And this can fix, if you're patient and talented, both though, equally, I think. Um, you can take a card and you can fix a rolled edge or something. And you there's a, a couple different techniques, right? It comes with this pad, you know, you, you get your card on the pad and you can roll it across, you put a penny sleeve over it and you can kind of like roll it or you can, you can kind of pull like this. And this is like a soft rubber over the penny sleeve. You get it wet with the spray, the moisture helps soften it up, you know? So that is kind of where we get into, or like, um, you know, there a lot of times like a fingernail indent will get into the back of a card. Kurt's like soaking it and like clamping it on like two p pieces of glass, right? And then like over time, it it will uh, the the dent will like pop out. That is more where I consider it to be more altering. And obviously, so PSA has said that they don't want people um, altering cards, cleaning cards, right? I, so that's kind of where I, I get it and I draw the line of that's a little bit more altering the card. It's like if you're using the, the car comparison, it's a bit more like doing body work kind of like I'm not going to say like Bondo because it's not. But I understand, I you know, if you can make a card into a 10, make a card into a 10 if it slabs up and, you know, but yeah, so it's I'm a little torn on it. But I just wanted to share this. I wanted to talk about it and get your guys' opinion because uh, it is interesting and um, it is a little controversial. But I do think that it has its place when done tastefully, maybe. Um, yeah, but it does work. I have done it, okay? And I'm not really afraid to admit that or anything. If, you know, it's... Yeah, it, it's, that's what it is. It's, eh, right? Um, yeah, I just wanted to get that out there and just kind of talk about something that um, I feel like isn't talked about a ton in the space, but it ha has been talked about. PSA has made a statement on it, so. Yeah, um, it's, if you want to clean your cards, I think you, you could clean your cards and that's fine. But, you know, if you polish, polish it out, if it gets a 10, it gets a 10. So, yeah, this is kind of a long, longer just rant of me talking about cleaning cards, but, and I was a little, I do apologize, I was a little bit all over the place, but I was just kind of trying to get my thoughts out, like, naturally. And so, yeah, that's kind of where I stand. Hopefully you guys got that from this video. And, yeah, I do think that, I mean, if you guys are interested, um, I'll put a link. I'm not sponsored. I don't get anything from it. I'll put a link if you guys want to pick it up, if you want to try it. Um, it's nice to have your cards look nice at the end of the day. So 
that's where I'm at. And yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Remember, it was never a phase.